Welcome back to the channel. I'm King Abaddon, and in today's video, we're going to that mission for Dax. Uh, maybe do the. Oh, this looks a little different. But yeah, we'll do the mission. No, I just never opened that. We'll do the mission for Dax, and maybe the mission for Matthias too. I'm not really sure um, how long his mission is gonna take. It doesn't. I don't think it's gonna take that long. Well, we'll do. We're doing the one for Dax for sure, though. Uh, this is the one we have to go out and meet her aunt. Or look for her aunt's book that shows how to navigate the heart of rage. Uh, yeah. Forgot to change my weapon out for something that works better, basically. Well, not works better, but swap out the grenade launcher. Because all I was really using was the, uh, the Gatlin cannon anyway, so. But oh well. It'll all work out. If we have a bigger boss, that's where the grenade launcher comes into use more so than just the, um... Minigun. Oh, I thought they were going to say something, that's why I didn't move yet. But that's a nice view right there. That's what I liked about this game is that things look nice at least, even though the gameplay isn't what people expected. It's still a good looking game. Is this what it's supposed to be? Predator, patch in Sentinel Dax. Dax, hope I haven't kept you waiting. Yeah, about that. I'm not going to make it. We'll bear me under a mountain of paperwork. Should I turn around? No, no. I can walk you through it from here. There's a camp nearby. Head to it. I do like how it shows you where lightning's going to strike. And that it can do pretty good damage to you also, as it would do in real life. Or at any point. It's a huge amount of power. Hmm. Oops. I forgot to check the weapon. So yeah, when all three of these hit, it makes an acid burst. And if whatever it is survives that acid hit, then I can detonate off of that. But I think it also detonates, right? No, it primes. Yeah, it just primes. Interesting how fast that uh, turret went down. I don't know if it was just because it was a random turret or what. But it definitely went down faster no. than usual. Exactly how did you end up in Fort Tarsus? One of my suitors claimed he was a better shot than me. I proved him wrong. How? In a duel, obviously. You shot him? Barely grazed his shoulder. He was a total baby about it. That's an interesting way to come to a place. This guy who was talk who I was talking to said he was a better shot than me, so I shot him and proved him wrong. Alright, what's this? Is this the outpost? Where am I supposed to go? All right, I'm here. Now I was supposed to land, really? Oh okay. God. Dead end or a new lead? Dax, a uh, little direction, please. Oh, sorry. Thinking. Um, see if you can get the power back on. It'll be easier to search the camp. I think landing on stuff does damage too with the um with the colossus just because how heavy it is also the way it lands it does the superhero landing where you land like not standing is this it yeah will you land like yeah. on a knee or something the fist in the ground i assume i have to defend this now well chapter two has entire pages on the subject power restored nice Look around, see if they left something behind. They? Yep. <sighs> so I assume this place was ran through by the, um, well, firstly the Scar and then the, uh, whatever they're called, hey, the bugs. Is that an archive? Is that what we're looking for? 
looking for? It could be. You won't know until I see what's on it. Faye, can you process the data? I've never seen an archive so disorganized. This might take a while. Um, I don't remember. This. I don't want to say swarm because I feel like that's just wrong. I feel like that's from hey, something else. Oh, did not have this out. But yeah, these workers are. They basically car carry the eggs around, but when they get close, they just kill all the eggs they carry, which is weird. I do like how the the workers though are just those things carrying something. No, no, that was a digger I just killed. There's workers, and the workers are just uh, no, the workers carry it. What's the other one called? I can't remember now. But essentially, there's a form of these things that look like the workers, except for without the egg. Oh, what is it? The the higher, the longer it shoots, the more damage it does. Something like that. I can't remember what this one has. I probably should have looked it up, but I also forgot. I came right back into it, basically. Those things. Soldiers and workers are the same thing, except for one has eggs and one doesn't. Can I pick this up? No. But it's okay. I know where to go next. I'm all ears. The archive is transmitting a signal nearby. That must be the place. Uh, no, okay. Oh, wait. I can't check now. Fist of the straw. Striker's Fury. Hitting enemies increases weapon damage by 16% for 5 seconds. Stacks to 10 times. 10. So, hitting... Basically, just hitting and the same enemy will make it do more damage over time. I knew it was something with like over time it does more damage. I'm gonna take the fire one. Ah, I can't craft right now. That's basically just an upgraded version of the basic glove. I thought it was a different one. Uh, just because of the name, I didn't actually read what it did. So that's why I've been thinking that it's supposed to do more than what it does. The other one that I almost chose, which I didn't talk about because I didn't choose it. I think I think I fast forward. Well, I know I fast forwarded through the whole part, but I don't know if I talked about what I didn't choose. The other one basically is like a meteor. It, it basically turns your your weapon, not your weapon. Yeah, your melee attack into a meteor. So when you hit the ground, fire explodes out from it, which uh, primes everything. I don't know if it detonates instantly. Some stuff does that, but I don't think that one does. Mm. Alpha mentality right there. Thomas? Beautiful. This is the place. No, I don't think you're having trouble. They're idiots and it's not a problem. Alright, anyways. Well, they're exactly. taken care of. Aren't we looking? Ooh, should have let them finish talking. The outlaws are like they're kinda like they're just people that left from the um forts. So Fort Tarsus and I think I don't remember what our fort is called. Fort is called. But the other one that they mentioned in the last one, I think it's in the clip where Dax gets called back to her home, Antium. Those two places, if you're kicked out of there, you're, uh, you're an outlaw and you're just living on your own, basically. Probably for getting, for doing something bad in the first place, but anyways. We are. Then why am I in a creepy cave looking for a cipher link? Because the signal director is here and... No, I mean, how is this link connected to the Emerald Abyss? Oh, it has intel on it. What intel? Important intel. Dax, if I had all the answers, it wouldn't be a mystery. That's yes. true. Where the hell are they? I killed them all. Oh. Found what was bothering the outlaws. Ooh, Ursix. Pretty nasty. Tell me about it. This isn't too bad uh, overall. I'm trying to get a headshot. There we go. Because that did way more damage. And it's done. That's why I like the Colossus. It's, it really is just a more get the job done type of thing for me at least. Because it's weapons do a lot of damage. It's just very close range. Close and mid range. Especially with this shield that um, is pretty much a second melee weapon. 
And I can do that with it too. I like doing that. Just knocking. Oh, that wasn't me. But knocking them over and then meleeing them. Because a lot of the times the kills are almost kills. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, defeat the outlaws in the six. Yeah, I don't really know what the use for the outlaws is because they don't. Um, are we closing in on the signal? I think so. It's on the move. Do you think? Is it possible that Earth Six eight the link? I swear to God, if I have to dig through poop. Okay, number one, feces is the professional term. And number two, they said it's moving. What kind of weird shit do you have? Um, what was I gonna say? The the outlaws don't have a real purpose. That's known. Like this, the bug things. I can't remember what they're called. I guess the swarm is what I'm gonna keep saying for now. They they're just animals pretty much. So you come into their territory, they're gonna attack you. And then there's the Dominion who they pretty much seek the to take over the world, kind of. Or at least the creation or how that works. Is this poop? The I can't tell. Of the beast. Please, Dax. Sorry. Put another Ursix. Yeah, and then it's easy to stun stuff with the two. But uh, what was I saying? Um, oh, there's two. Come on, come on. Let me move. Let me move. All right. The 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 what is the other one called? The scavenger clan. I can't remember what they're called right now. They they're just basically scrapping stuff. The scavengers? Is that what they're called? No, the scab? Scarab? Something like that. They're native to the planet and they're trying to take stuff. The humans are the ones that seem to be out of place here. Since they hide inside these, well not hide, but live inside of the um, forts that they have. And But the other ones, they just basically scrap stuff to make their living. So it makes sense that what they're after is basically if they kill us, they get our armor and they can use it for whatever they want. Um, but the outlaws are just kicked out basically, they're just Earth causing problems for essentially no reason. And there's also no reason for them to stay together. She doesn't seem to be liking Dax too much anymore. This grenade launch is really doing a lot of damage to these things, probably because it's higher level than it's supposed to be but also just because uh it's a grenade launcher and it's hard to have a grenade launcher that doesn't do a lot of damage but this is always more fun it's, it's literally shooting tactical nukes essentially put your head down yeah. cool is that a legendary no it's just a blue Oh, not how you this change weapons. Lucky me. I can't help you if you're gonna be picky. I'll analyze Link's intel and send it to Dax. Beautiful. We can discuss back at Fort Tarsus. Yeah, okay, that wasn't a long mission. I figured that it wouldn't be. So I'll go ahead and write into the the mission for Matthias afterwards. I forgot to put up these magic walls that hold you in. Will I go back? And now nah, I'm not gonna get rid of all the stuff I have now. At this point, it's kind of too late anyways. Well, not too late. I could get rid of it just because that would make it fair to the series because I was trying not to craft too high stuff, but then pull out the Colossus and went right to the max pretty much. Now, let me change that weapon. These weapons real quick. I'm not going to switch out the, what you call it anymore. I, I was said I was, and then I was like, well, if you need a boss, and then I encounter a boss right after that. So I'm going to keep it now. Let's switch over to this. This primes, this detonates. Okay. So that detonates. That primes. That doesn't do anything. So prime and a detonate now. That's one set. That's a detonate. I know this is a prime. So actually, I think, I think I'm going to keep it as it is, basically. Because this can prime, that can detonate. So it's even right now. Um, if I went to the fist, it would be more... If I switched, my, oh, I got another uh, thing, and I just sold everything, so that's helpful, I guess. 
any of these also for like uh hang on can i find one a universal plus one to the 67 to the armor but for a colossus specific whoa that's the same the shield is 167 hmm. oh well well the colossus does have these ones that boost its uh damage way up it's uh health way up actually instead of the normal 167 that the universal ones are carrying this one goes up like triple that double that something like that a little over double i think which one of these am i going to take i have this melee inscription i should take that ordinance augment which one what do i have now yeah i'll take the ordinance one then no i'm not i'm gonna take this In this game, you can keep crafting stuff to get the different, um, like, secondary modifiers and find the one that you want the most, or has the most stuff that you want. So this increases acid dis resistance and sniper ammo. So I'm going to actually recraft it, because I don't use a sniper rifle on this at all. Also, it doesn't make sense to have that with how I play. So you can keep just keep recrafting it, and then look for whatever um, bonus effects that you want. So now there's overheat delay and shield refresh. And I can build towards one of those two things by continuously changing different components and different items that I have to have those same percentages and then that's how you would build a certain type. So some people build towards electric damage and then they'll take the volta vol voltaic dome which does a lot of electric damage already. So that's kind of how builds work in this game. Inverse function. Alright. So now this is the mission for uh, Matthias. We are all here and able to speak to you. Oh, wonderful. Isn't it? Well, I think we find something fascinating back at the ruins. Shaper instruments. Never a dull moment. <sighs> so now with Matthias being split into three versions of himself, each one has a different personality and he just gave them, like, what is his name? Matthias, Errol, whatever his last name is. Like, that's what he did to to basically keep it the same person but different kind of so none of them have they all have one name now instead of like first middle last once that's not gonna happen can't you let anyone have a moment of happiness Are these, these weren't here before, were they? The spider eggs or whatever? No, they weren't. The scorpions, in the area. scorpions that's what they were. Better do something about them. They'll get in the way of your investigation. There's gonna be so many of these though. I mean, I guess this kind of makes sense. They are bugs. We are walking into what is now their home. Is it the faster the weapon spins? No, it's just hitting. Yeah. So with a lot of enemies around, this gun is good. One big enemy, this gun is... It's pretty much a good, like, an set of... Or a good weapon all around. Not unless you're doing, like, the... Free range type of thing. Where you're just running around and you can just pack at a few enemies. At that point, it's not as good. But it's still pretty good otherwise. Its damage is good, and even without the, um... The stack. I don't know who hit who there. I don't know if he blew up or if I just uh, hit him. And with these combo effects too, they uh. They build up the old meter faster, which is also why I like the Botomic Dome and the with the Colossus because it's very easy to just shock them and melee them, so you're building your bar extremely fast. 
Decomposition? Too quick. Unlikely. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps the metaphor. Side effect of division? Right, but what do I do? Samples would be helpful. I wonder if these were actually where they were all killed. Um when I did the mission, or if it's just putting them in a random spot. I doubt it would remember that portion of the game, but I'm not sure. Oh, this is like vomit that they had or something like that. That's really gross. Bring the samples to Aruna Call. Yes, our discussions have led to a hypothesis that the split in warped reality. There are side effects. Aruna Call specializes in that. She's on expedition helping the Sentinels. I almost ran straight into that wall, not gonna lie. Scars. Those sentinels need your help. Scars. Wait, that that's what they call them, right? And I know they're they're really like bugs. They're literal like bugs walking on two feet. Just more sensing than the uh the scorpions. Oops, not the gun I thought I had in my hand. Alright, well... A lot of what I used to do was just run around with the shield out. Uh, especially in these lower level missions was is and that's because I could just run through them and knock them over so when I got back up just run through them again pretty much bulldozing them not even pretty much literally bulldozing them these things are probably the hardest ones to fight because they're colossus so the shield takes no damage and if you hit the shield it won't do anything you have to actually work around the shield so freezing them is really the easiest way to work with them because even if I hit them with my uh, ult that does huge AOE damage, it still won't matter. Where is the Runa call? The uh, scars took her. They took most of the Arcanists. I'll show you. Ugh. You're hurt. Stay here. I'll handle it. Be careful. There's an Ascari needing them. Huge. Dangerous. It's been making trouble. I don't remember what an Ascari is, actually. I, I feel like it's like a robotic thing, but I'm not sure because I can't remember. But I think the scar are like uh, biological robots, kind of. Mostly biological, though. A makeshift and also with these things, you can uh, shoot their their tanks and cause them to explode. So that's why there was a huge explosion before. I don't know why the second one died though. That's completely uh, unknown to me. They also have these drills because they live underground, so this is this is more what they come out of usually than the um, little rifts that uh, appear for the Dominion.
Yeah, and since they all stay grouped up, that's kind of the thing with these. They get in there, the Colossus. Look at them, right? They can get in there and keep stuff close together, and if you can start priming them, your detonation will detonate. It will cause a huge explosion that detonates all of them as well. So everything's going to be affected by that explosion. Well, basically, you can cause one explosion and cause many more that will affect everyone in the range of it. I have to open all of them. I wasn't looking forward to whatever that is scar I had planned for us. A runa call. Yeah? That's me. How did you Matthias Sumner sent me? He needs you to Oh, that jerk. Um, to analyze this? Where did you get this? The energies it's giving off. I can evaluate this data back at the fort. I'll take Aruna and the rest of the prisoners in the strider. You should take out that scar as you mentioned. Kidnapping? Sounds like bad news. Yeah. Alright, so it should be not too far from If I'm remembering what it is correctly, it's like it's big, basically. It's not small. Found these scar we're looking for. We have to take it down. Yeah, that that's exactly what I thought it was. It's pretty much a a, uh, a turret kind of. Oh, that's not the button. This the session said it was huge and dangerous. I was thinking of a. Uh, what is it? I think the gun is the weak point, or right below the gun? I can't remember, actually. Okay, that's not the weak point at all. That's completely armored. I think that the neck joint. The lunge on this attack is weird. Uh, can I please? I know most bosses don't take the comboing effects properly. Put up a shield there. Though. Okay, so the legs are the weak point. And then the whole thing should be weak now. Basically, you take out a leg and then shoot it in the head. Kind of like, um... In Destiny with the... Can't remember what they're called. I guess they're walkers. I don't know. But if you've seen Destiny, the Fallen have a walker thing that has six legs. You break a leg, it falls down, its engine's exposed, and you shoot it. That's pretty much the same uh, method with this. At this point, I'm probably not going to take any loot that isn't purple. Even though I'm still in the range where I shouldn't have anything purple. I'm not feeling the, the slow progression anymore. But we're still aren't technically that high a level, considering that. We're still a green ranked or whatever. What uh what is it? Common, uncommon, rare. I think we're either uncommon right at the edge of rare or we're now rare because of that last component we got. I didn't check when I first when I did it. But the the masterworks that we're carrying with us aren't actually the level that they're supposed to be. They usually actually I can't say usually what because it's been a while. So I haven't used my upper level character in a long time. But I'll probably start streaming that stuff more so because there's a lot of weapons that I want to find in this game. And I do enjoy playing the game even by myself. It's more fun with friends, but I do enjoy it by myself. But depending on if I can get an actual streaming schedule down, which is hard to do with homework because you never know how hard it's going to be until you're doing it. Okay, please don't hate me, but that link, the one you got elbow deep in R6 for? More like wrist deep, but yeah. It didn't have all the intel I needed. Again? But you said- I know, I know, I messed up. Remember my aunt's journal? The one that proves there's a connection between the Heart of Rage and the Emerald Abyss? Yeah, it was stolen. What? When? Like, two months ago. Why didn't you say so? Because I thought we could steal the information back without facing the thieves head on. The outlaws in the cave. They're the ones who took the journal. Sort of. They work for the guy who took it. A jerk named Talon. How did this happen? Minor details. What's done is done. We just gotta keep moving forward. Okay. What's our next move? We ambush Talon and steal back the journal. And you'll show up this time. You make me sound so flaky. Of course I'll be there. I'm pretty sure she's still there. I don't remember if she actually shows up. 
But even if she does, she's still a sentinel, so it would be hard for her to do so. Which is the whole issue with her helping us, because sentinels are not freelancers. Freelancers have javelin, and they're free to do basically whatever they want. Like a freelance entrepreneur, basically. Uh, they can just basically run their business as they please. But if you work for a corporate business, you have to follow certain guidelines, and that's what the sentinels are in this case. Who am I supposed to talk to? The three of them or whatever. We're so distracted by our own problems. We only just right? I do have to talk to someone here. Who's that that is telling me to talk to? Dear Diary? Now let's for Dax. Inverse function. That's where I need to go. Uh, I guess this is the lady. Oh, yeah. The lady that we just helped. Inverse function should be down this way. Oh, yeah. Look, okay, okay, okay. There's two things down this hallway. Yep, there she is. Mm, good. You're here. Those samples you brought me. What were they? Well, they used to be Dominion. I thought it might be something like that. Reality decay is not pretty. Reality decay. When a shaper instrument taps into the anthem, it affects reality. And reality is a lot less stable than you think it is. One incorrect variable and the entire equation collapses. Reality collapses. These Dominion, whatever happened to them, altered their nature, the fundamentals of their existence. But it wasn't right. Something wasn't right. They couldn't last. What's this got to do with Matthias? Whatever happened to these Dominion happened to Matthias too. You're not saying... The manifold affected him. It means he, uh, they, are unstable and in real danger. I gotta go. Interesting. Gods, I could really use so do we talk to Matthias now or what? I asked them, would you rather have yeah. Maddie. The Matthiases. Uh, there, yeah. There's still one missing, though. You're back. That is, that is you, isn't it? I can't quite focus my eyeballs. Where's Sumner? And where's the manifold? He was impatient. He wanted to pursue his own theory. He took it and pushed me. Not hard, but it hurt my feelings. What did Aruna say? The Dominion soldiers were affected by some kind of reality decay as a result of their divide. Reality shifting in unintended ways. As a result, they were wobbly. Jelly that didn't quite set. Oh, that explains why I'm feeling oddly <laughs> porous. It's, uh, it's not a great feeling. And none of my limbs work right. We need Sumner back. And the manifold. The generator of the effect must be part of the solution. Do you know where he went? He talked about needing a drink. Maybe the bar? It's start. How long do I have? I smell burnt toast. Not long. Please hurry. Isn't that the signs of a stroke or something? Okay, so now we have a new mission for Dax. Am I going the right way? I'm not. Oh, well. We have a new mission for Dax and a new mission for Sumner, right? So we might do both of those in the next one. I, again, it depends on how long they take. Because uh, I'm not sure. So what is this? Find the outlaws. Recover Dax's thing. And... Am I still supposed to be doing something here for Sumner? Who, who, I think we are looking for Sumner, right? Locate Sumner in the manifold. Find Sumner at the bar. Alright. We'll keep doing this part since it doesn't make sense to end it here. Good thing I checked though, because I definitely was going to do the outro. He's in here somewhere. I'm looking for a Sumner anywhere. Ball but there's a dude. Maybe she's seen him. You should ask. That's not him. That's the one dude. Ah, freelancer. Let me guess. Looking for Matthias? Yes. One of them. He wanted a drink but wasn't allowed in. He's been banned from the premises for months. Great. So he's gone now. I tried to talk to him about the samples you found, but he didn't seem interested. He was always easily distracted, but never rude. It was odd. It's complicated. That one, Sumner, 
appears to be the abrasive side of Matthias. We should find him. I don't know how quickly the reality decay could set in. Got it. Okay, so now where is he at? What now? I don't see Sumner anywhere. He might still have his link on him. Connect us. I can sense the link, but I can't seem to make the connection. But I can track him. Got him. He's by the forge. All right. At the forge, just by the one girl, right? Zoe, her name is the girl who like flirted with us kind of at the beginning, or we flirted with. Who knows? I can't remember. That's a long time ago. A few months at this point. Those people moved incredibly weird. They just started teleporting around, basically. Except by the forge. Uh. You said Sumner was here. I don't see him. No. Hmm. Let me check the forge records. Ah, looks like he took a javelin. Can he do that? Can he even operate one? Not well, I imagine. He has likely left the fort by now. You should go after him when you can, in case of trouble. All right, so there's that. Uh, that's going to be all for this video, though. Next time, we'll go and look for Sumner and meet Dax to do that other mission. And this is getting really close to the end. I think we... I think we're, we're very close. Uh, two or three episodes, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to speculate. But thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like the video and share with your friends. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff helps, helps me grow. I think they changed the criteria in YouTube. I think. I don't know. Can't remember. I still need to get the, the search engines fixed. But uh, 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 thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.